Welcome back. Today is Thursday, and that means another acting analysis for animators. And today I'm going to take a look at the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought the performances were great, and I thought the on stage, the concert, the energy, just what Rami did with impersonating the Freddie Mercury as that character, I think was really successful. But of course, I'm massively blinded by my love for the music, so I'm obviously biased. But what I'm looking at for today is not technically the performances as the singer and his stage performances and all the flamboyant stuff and just the way he tried to emulate Freddie Mercury as the singer and then as, the, as a person. I was more fascinated by a lot of the looks that people gave each other or reactions to me it was a movie with a lot of reactions i don't know why i don't know if it's i don't know why that it stood out for me in that movie now there were scenes that i thought were cool in terms of something you could use in your scene so when they first see the manager you have rami doing kind of a nervous adjustment in his chair because he wants to be cool or just leave a good impression but it's an interesting little adjustment where it's not quite working the chair is not quite helping him to do this and he has to kind of you know awkwardly get back into this i think moments like that would be interesting to use in your shot but as a whole again i thought it was just a lot of reaction shots I and mean, you got quick ones do little concerts you have a lot of different varied ones where they hear uh, that the manager, that the specific manager is interested in them, and you have happier reactions, you have potential relief, surprise, there's also disappointment when they hear something for the first time, when they hear it in terms of music or an idea. There's a lot of different quick looks or just with eyebrows, or sometimes you have reactions that are a bit more emotional for something where it's, again, something they didn't quite expect, but it's more related to relationships. Then you also have moments where it's a bit more conflict laden and, you know, a bit more, there's more tension in it, but then you still have a quick change with reactions that gets them out of that situation. And then of course, then you have the big concert at the end, and it's just the reaction of him singing, the audience reacting to the singing, just a, a group experience and a group energy. And I thought just all those little moments are just neat where you can see how they look at each other how it affects them and it's something that potentially it's kind of tricky you might say in animation where your reel is just people <laughs> reacting to things i'm not sure if that's very appropriate for a reel but i think it definitely would be interesting as an exercise to do something like that so it's just a character processing information and reacting to this but there was a scene and i think that could be something where you take all those reaction shots and if you combine this into something that's potentially useful for you as an animation exercise or an acting or pantomime exercise and it's something where you could even hide the lip sync where the character is such seen from the back so let me show you the scene so you have this scene where freddie mercury says something right but technically animation wise you could already have him like this like you never see the face and it's all about them reacting to what he's saying what i like here is too that he's got that little moment through here then he has that big moment through there and it's got a lot of body mechanics and interesting walk and just acting through just the back you don't need to see the face when he talks but what i like is their reactions if you look at how they look as he walks by they all have sort of different reactions there he's kind of waiting for that little connection there and i think that could be something interesting where you could pick any type of lip sync because we don't see the face and then it could be something serious, something funny, whatever you want to do, and you just play up the reactions of the surrounding characters. And then it's for you something interesting in terms of body pantomime and just thought process and reactions. And this could be just one character, or in this case, multiple characters having a reaction, then seeing each other and then making that connection and then reacting as a group. And the reason why I'm mentioning all of this is because a lot of times you hear that acting is reacting. And I really like that saying or you know, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's true when you have just actors that wait for their line where they don't really listen to the other partner in the scene, they don't really react and process and have a genuine reaction to whatever is being said, it just seems kind of fake or maybe just rehearsed. Uh, and it's tricky, I'm not saying that it's easy to do, I'm just saying in terms of you doing animation, if you have multiple characters, really make sure that whoever is talking to someone else, that person is really listening and reacting to what the other character is saying. And in this example, you could do something where that is the point of the shot, or at least of your exercise, where you have a character say something, and maybe that character is turned away from camera, so you don't see the face, you don't have to do any lip sync, so you technically can use any sound, 
or actually lip sync is off screen and it's just a shot about people reacting. But if the sound is not on, then maybe it's a bit tricky to understand, you know, the context, it might not be as impactful. So maybe this could be something where you see a character like what I just uh, showed, where you don't see the face, but they are doing something so that the audience sees that. And there we go, what is he doing? And then it can kind of connect with the surrounding characters reacting in the same way. I hope that makes sense, but I, that's just something that to me stood out in that movie. Um, besides all the concert stuff and the cool performances, I just, for whatever reason, it just struck me that how many reaction shots there are in this movie. There you go, that's it. Hopefully food for thought. The next time you do a shot where you have lip sync and you don't really want to do the lip sync, they maybe go, I don't have time for this. Maybe I just do reaction shots. I don't know, could be helpful. And there you go. As always, thank you for watching. And if you watch this till the very end, you know the whole drill. I am really appreciative that you watch till the very end. Like and subscribe if you want to. Why not hit that bell button if you want to get all the notifications of all my uploads. And that is it. And I will see you in a next upload.